In this video, I wanna help you unleash some of your creative energy in how to create awesome content for your YouTube channel. I have a few suggestions for you. One of my most important tips is at the end of the video, so watch the whole thing or skip to the end if you wanna get the punchline. I'm using this opportunity to grow my online presence on YouTube. How have I grown my YouTube subscribers and if I've done so organically? The number one way for you to increase subscribers to your channel is to deliver quality content and answer very important question. I understand it's very difficult to get YouTube subscribers and honestly the way I've gained 95 plus percent of my subscribers is by creating a how-to video. The how-to video that I created was how to create an awesome real estate video video and of course through that video many of you now watching were first introduced to my work. In the movie Braveheart, you grow to know this fella as the bad guy. That's a multi-camera shot. Bam! Should I jump? I've had quite a few people recently reach out to me as I believe what's happening right now is many people are looking more as a way for YouTube to monetize their business or perhaps they have more time to invest into building content in this pandemic time. So I'm gonna give you my number one tip for growing YouTube subscribers organically. So ask yourself, what are frequently asked questions in your business? Again, now is a great time to create some of this content. In my business, a little video that's been very helpful for me was to create a short summary of what client's options are when their home conditionally sells. By creating this video, it gives me the opportunity to capture some very important information in a clear, concise way that I may easily share with clients any given time. And I've shared it hundreds of times since I created it some years ago, as you can tell by looking at the video. But in addition to answering frequently asked questions, you'll want to ignite your creativity to continue to produce content. One of the best things about YouTube is that it is a creative platform that we may both consume and create. Now ask yourself though, are you more of a consumer or are you more of a creator? And I would challenge you now if you are watching this video to become more of a creator. I was reminded how one of my subscribers let me know that he came to my channel through one of the fun videos I produced once, which was This House Rocks. And honestly, this little video cost me almost nothing Again, reference back to my how to make an awesome real estate video video. If you wanna know the basic tools that I use, 145 Cooper's Park, this house rocks. And it really is still the same format I use to create my real estate videos. For myself, my creative energy and my creativity flows best when I am centered and grounded. And that is truly 100% my top tip for becoming more creative in what you do. One of my favorite quotes is by Seth Godin, is real artists ship. So do not wait for perfection, simply capture to the best of your ability, create quality content, but ship it. I sure hope you found this information helpful. By all means, if you're watching on YouTube, click the thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. If you love this video, please share it. Many of you watching have seen the journey that I've been through on my channel here. And I thank you so much for coming back. Again, wherever you are in the world, thank you for watching and thank you for watching. I guess if you're shy, you shouldn't do video. There's a little boy who's chasing a goose over here. It tends to be kind of dangerous. 
here's a small thing you can do today to help small businesses that have needed to close because of the coronavirus. And it doesn't cost any money, just takes a little bit of time. And take a moment to either go on Facebook, make a recommendation on Google reviews, give a five star rating to businesses that you love and appreciate. We do live in a review society, and as much as this is not a monetary contribution, it is sowing the seeds for future business for these businesses which we love so much. Just in case my wife asks.